basics math prodigies where this is Saifu. This is Saifu. <laughs> this is Coach Saifu with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into question number six. Now, this question is actually um, pretty simple in my terms. Okay, I think it's pretty simple. There are, I've seen much harder ones. Um, but some of you will find it a little bit challenging. And that's again, is your chance to shine. All right, so let's read the question. It says the shaded figure shows a flower bed. Okay, you know what's a flower bed? Right? It's actually basically a like a place where you put flowers, lah, okay? So this, uh, which is formed by a straight line and six identical quarter circles. Um, find the perimeter of the flower bed. Okay, perimeter means what? It means the outline. Like I always tell you, it's the outline. So your outline over here is made up of how many things? First off, it's made up of this line, okay? And do we know what is this one line? Yes, we do. Why? Because this is one part, two parts, three parts, four parts. In other words, this is 2 out of 4 or half of 28, which gives me 14 cm. So this is 14 cm. That's one I, that one I know. Now, I need to add up the quarter circles. There are how many quarter circles circumference here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 identical quarter circles. So first off, we just have to find out the perimeter. So we have to add 14 to the 6 quarter circles. Let's find out first off what is the circumference of six quarter circles okay so therefore you just find out what's the circumference of one quarter circle first or one quadrant um let's find one quadrant first like simple so circumference of i'm just gonna write circumference circumference of quarter circle or quadrant actually you should write quadrant just now equals to what What's the perimeter? Uh, what's the uh, circumference is 2 pi r. So therefore, 2 pi r divided by 4 because it's a quarter of a circle. So 2 pi r divided by 4 will give you what? Take pi as 22 over 7. So first off, we can just reduce this to half of a pi r. So pi r divided by 2. What's your pi? 22 over 7. What's your radius? Your radius is um, uh, my radius is this one over here, which actually is um, fourteen divided by two, which gives you seven. So seven, which gives me very simple. Twenty two times seven gone 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 gone. Therefore, you get twenty two on top and two below, which gives you eleven cm. So a quarter circle is eleven cm, and um, I have how many? I have one. I know six, right? Yeah, six. So the perimeter is simple. The perimeter is equals to 14 which is the line over here yes now oh line over here plus 6 times 11 which is 66 and the answer is 80 cm very simple so that is for part a all right and let's move on to part b now part b is going to get a little bit challenging but let's just do, look at this it says find the area of the flower bed so how are you going to do this tell me how you're going to do this I would do it differently from I think most people would do it. First off, I would just find out what is the area of a quadrant. Okay, find the area of the quadrant. And then I would actually take out... Uh, what do I do? Hold on a second. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll divide it into two. First off is the first half. Means from here all the way to here. So I'll take 28 times 7, which is this rectangle, our minus of 2 quadrants. That will find me the top half, actually the area. Now for the bottom half, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'll actually take only the 28 times, sorry, 14 over here, times the 7, and that gives me this rectangle. I will minus off 1 semicircle, and then I will plus back another 2 semicircles, uh, 2 quadrants which actually becomes one rectangle. So that means that it's simply one rectangle. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do this myself. Okay, uh, first off, I'm going to draw it. Okay, I hope this is how it looks like. Okay, it's wrong. Slowly, I'm going to draw properly. Okay. And there's a curve over here. Wow, this looks like a house. Okay, but basically, if you take a look at it properly, um, you will notice that if I were to take this area over here, I can actually make it into here. And this area over here, I can actually put it in here. So it becomes one rectangle. 
over here. So I'm going to do it and see whether I get the answer. I have not tried this way yet. I just noticed it. Should get the same answer. Lah. Okay. So first off, we're going to take the first half, which is a rectangle. Rectangle is 28 times 7, not 14. Eh? Because it's half of this. So 28 times 7 will give me the answer. Oh, firm. Okay, what did I sound? Different there. <laughs> it gives me 196 cm squared. Okay. I want you to find out I want myself to find out what is the area of a semicircle, which is this. So semicircle is half a circle, therefore area of semicircle. What well, is really bad? Pi r squared over two. Take pi as twenty two over seven. My radius is seven squared, and divided by two. So divided by 7, I still have another 7. So 22 times 7 will give me... 22 times 7 will give me 144. Four, divided by 2, which gives me 77 cm squared. So the first, oh, I'll take the first half, which is 196 minus 77. And I'll find out what's the area of the square, which is 14 times 7, which gives me... 98 cm squared. <clears throat> so the total area of the shaded parts is simply 98 plus 196 minus 77. Oh, I'm very scared to see whether this answer is correct or not. <laughs> plus 196 minus 77. Okay, I think I'm right. 217 is the answer. 217 is the answer. 217 cm squared. Good job, Saif. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Um, like I said, it's, um, I'm going to explain one more time. Huh? The first, I divide this into two. So the first half is basically this big rectangle minus the area of two squadrons, or in other words, a semicircle. And for the bottom half, it's simply you have to recognize that this quarter circle is actually the same, can be put into this quarter circle, MT1. And same goes for this one. So it becomes a rectangle. So what I did was, I took the bigger rectangle minus the two quadrants and then plus the center uh, rectangle. And that's it. Bam, we get the answer 217 cm squared. If you did it the same way and you got the answer, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. All right, and that is, that leads me to the quote of the week. And the quote of the week is, a challenge is another chance for you to shine. Remember, like I always say, a challenge is another word for chance. So take the challenge, take the chance, and shine. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy.